Hello my awesome friends! Continue with our video series on the autopilot and turbo scanner strategy. Today I will show you strategies for beginners using Amazon as a supplier. Beginners are sellers that just created their eBay account or haven't worked with bulk listing before. So even if you already drop ship on eBay for a while, but you never bulk listed items to eBay, this video is for you. When we are bulk listing on eBay, we have to be aware of the risks and the challenges. Listing too many items too fast can cause an account suspension and it can also result in a low uh, sell through and low sales. Another issue that you can encounter when bulk listing is listing Vero items. And listing Vero items can cause you restriction, right? And it, it, it can put your account at risk as well. I'll go through the strategy um, step by step. And this strategy is based on my real life experience. So let me share that with you and I hope I can help you somehow. So in your first month, you should not list more than 300 items. Um, you can list 10 items per day to consistently list your items. And the reason is because you're limited in the quantity of items or selling limits, right? So you should focus on high quality items because our goal here is to achieve sales fast and to send signals to the eBay algorithm by the more sales we generate, the more respect we get from the algorithm, which results in a better ranking and more traffic to your new listings and eventually to your store, right? With this in mind, you will want to focus on two types of products. The first one, it's called the traffic products, traffic products. And the second one is the bread and butter products. Now, let me explain them a little bit for you. So the traffic products, uh, it has nothing to do with narcos, if that's what you're thinking. Traffic products <laughs> are usually low price and they have been used to generate a hype of sales to, to help you boost your account ranking. Now, the bread and butter products are usually ranging from $20 to $50 and they should be the majority of the products that you have in your store because they will generate most of the profit. And uh, okay, so with these things in mind, it's time. It's computer time! Okay, let's go. All right, we're in Zig Analytics. Let's go to Zig Pro Autopilot. And then we click here, new scan. Let's run the first scan with the autopilot with Amazon as supplier and go over the filters to use as a beginner. By the way, you guys don't have to use all the filters and click max is not needed. For example, sales minimum one. If you don't want to use a filter, you can leave it empty. So let's go to the categories and uh, the categories. You can select them all. And then as a beginner, I would not select Amazon devices, books, CDs and vinyls, and Apple products. And then uh, also I saw some here, sports you can, sports collectibles and uh, software. And then you save. And so because you need only 10 items per day, you can be more strict on the reviews and the rating criteria. In a review count, you can put between 10 to 100. If you want, you can even try higher. You can play with it. And then average rating, I suggest to go from three to four, but now I'll leave it three stars. And then we have the best selling ranking. I would recommend here, you could go for 15 to thousand or to one or leave a blank. I, I'm actually gonna leave a blank for this example. I'm not gonna take include similar items. I'm am going to leave prime only. Okay, uh, for competition, I would leave max 10. Okay, and then for sales minimum, you, you can put two if you go for a sales range of, of seven days, or you could go for four if you go for a sales range of 14 days, which is what I'm going to select. You can always play around with this, okay? And then sales, you can uh, put max. Now, 
selling price is a very useful filter because it can help you focus on specific types of items, such as the traffic items and bread and butter items or high ticket items. And then when you're selling um, with higher price items, most likely the profit will be higher. However, when you're getting started, you want to list items that will sell fast and sell a lot. And these are the traffic items. And they usually range from uh, $2 to $15. Selling price. And then I can just name the scan traffic items. And I suggest that out of the 300 items you listed in your first month, 20% should be traffic items and 80% should be uh, bread and butter. So for this scan, I'll go from $2 to $15 selling price and I have named the scan uh, traffic items. And then on the next scan, I will do another example of bread and butter items. So stay with me, okay? And then this last filter here is the return on investment, ROI. And we want to find products that have high return on investment. So we will have the room to undercut the prices of our competitors or at least sell for the same price as them. We prefer not to list in higher prices. Okay, so th therefore, I'll put minimum of 0.2 ROI and hit the max button. As a beginner, I suggest you to leave the next filters empty, sell through and successful rates. And then to finish, you pick the amount of items you want to get in the results, right? So at this stage, it goes to list 10 items per day Therefore, I'll write down 20 products. And the reason is for writing more is that I'll be able to filter out vero items or risky items that might come up in the results. And now I'll click the start your scan button. It's pending and then in just a few seconds it shows, look, completed, okay? Okay, and after we've got the results, it's time for optimization and then you click here to see the files because our goal is 300 items per month only, and uh, it is your first 300 items you're gonna list in bulk. So I suggest you to optimize the listings as much as possible, like titles, prices, description, images, in invest in your listings to build a strong and high performing store, okay? And then uh, let's just go a bit here on the um, re uh, results page, and then you got the eBay uh, photo, and then you got the supplier photo, you got eBay title, and then you got the supplier title, eBay price, supplier price, sell through, success rates, sales, competition, profit, and return of investment, okay? So to optimize the title, I highly suggest that you copy the competitor's title after you validate it, and make sure it fits the product, and then make sure also that there's no mistake. And then you can use Zig's title builder, to uh, upgrade the title, you know, with one or two new keywords, right, on your competitor's success, but just, you make it better, okay? You make, you take the competitor's uh, success and then you improve it. And then you can select all the items, for example, uh, and then uncheck the Vero, Vero signs. For example, here it's okay, it's a Google Pix, Pixel, uh, you, can, you can leave that. And then you can, uh, it's not a brand and then pneumatic, I don't know if it's a, it's a brand, but you know what? I'm just gonna take it off just for, uh, to show you as an example, what you would do if you want to export CSV file and then you go to export selected items, okay? Then you click it and then it's gonna open CSV file and then on the CSV file, you can do all the optimization on the file. Yes, and then you can do all the optimization on the file. For example, get the supplier um, title here. Let's say here, you can just double click it and then you add uh, the words here. Okay. And then you can do manually. Or you can list one of the lister Zig supports with integration. And then uh, you can do the optimization on their platform before listing the item on eBay. And then you click here and then connect to the lister Okay, and I don't have a lister connected to my store, but once you do uh, connect the lister to your store, there's two options. You can uh, exclude risky words, and then you can exclude Vero brands as well. So the Vero filter is very powerful. Then you can select the files manually and then just upload selected to your lister, and then the process is the same. Okay, now let's go over it again, but this time uh, we just 
search for items selling between $20 to $50 to maintain the healthy growth and profitable uh, product profile. And then you click uh, start new scan and then you just change the prices and start new scan. So as you can see, the previous filter saved automatically everything. All you need to do is change the filter to target the bread and butter product. So I'll choose here uh, 20 to uh, $50, but you can also increase the selling price to, I don't know, 80 or even 150, from 80 to 150 or from 20 to 150. Uh, it depends on your selling limits, okay? Yeah, you don't wanna list one item that will take space of five, right? Now just click start your scan and again, just a few seconds, you'll have 20 unique items. You know, the autopilot system will not bring you the same uh, items every scan. So it does make your life much easier and brings you new items each time. And that is because the system will recognize which items are in your previous scans and it will make sure to not bring them again in the next scan. So this way, each time you run a scan, you will get new items ready to list. Okay, so yes, we found 20 products. Let me just say something. For example, the last scan for traffic items, we aimed for 20 products, but we got 12. And that's okay because our filters were very specific and we still got 12 products. And out of the 12 products, only one or two were actual Vero. So we managed to get 10 really interesting items for that. And then here in bread and butter, we looked for 20 and we got 20. Uh, let's move in the bread and butter and see the products. You have 20 unique items. You know, the autopilot system will not bring you the same uh, items every scan. Okay guys, so let's go back to the camera. Yes guys, so as you can see, the autopilot feature is a huge time saver without compromising on the quality. We took automation to the next level to help you achieve the better results in less time. The autopilot is available on the enterprise plan in Zik Analytics, and currently we have 50% off for the first month. You might be watching this video like a year from now and the discount might not be available anymore. So forgive me if that's what happened there in the future, you future person. But in that case, coming back to the present, if you're here now, if I were you, I would take advantage of the offer now right? I mean, the only real thing is right now, the present, right? So I wouldn't count on the future. Anyway, in the next video, I'll focus on Walmart as the game with Walmart is a bit different from Amazon, okay? And remember, a big business starts small. Richard Branson said that, brilliantly puts that, right? Think about all these big companies starting their garages and everything. Anyway, Keep moving forward and see you next time.